I'm gonna. Hey, morning on the mobile office, joining with our mastermind team on this last weekend of March. If you have lost the last 90 days and you're still scrambling to catch up with 2024, we got great news. And I'm going to start with upcoming back from vacation, Mr. Kumar. Tell us what's happening in your world. What's the miracle, like Shanta likes to say? Oh what are God. your miracles today? Man, I'm telling you, I took some time after working, working, and, you know, through the 90-day program, realigning, real setting yourself emotionally, spiritually. I took a little time out, spent some time with quality, with family. I know my brother being um, requesting my presence over in Florida, and I figure, you know, what? what's a better time than to... Uh, get back with him during the winter months here in Toronto, right? So it was a nice getaway, reset my mind a little bit, take it easy. Can't be working all the time. Health is extremely important. So um, I'm very thankful that, um, you know, I got a little pass from the team to go away and relax and uh, take it easy. But I'm back and uh, energized to get going. You know, there's a lot of entrepreneurs and a lot of, um, a lot of business, a lot of business to do, a lot of mentorship, a lot of coaching to get done. But, so, uh, today's uh, agenda, Kumar, is to organize the activities for April as it's coming up faster than we all want. Yep. And uh, Mario, tell us about yourself. What's your miracle? And uh, we have marked April 6th as a flag date for a little powwow in-person session in your office mario yeah i'm excited i'm looking forward to that uh, i think it's going to be a really good um trial event to see if we can start building some engagement uh for this i think it would drive some business and some income to mgg which i'm excited for uh but business is really good things have been uh really busy this year we have some incredible new agents getting started with us that have left uh Companies where they were, you know, mistreated, not making much money. So uh, we're really focused on expanding. We just opened up three more states uh, this week. So we really want to make a, a wave in the U.S. I think that's a really important thing. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to uh, these meetings and what we're creating here. Wonderful. Well, I'm uh, really, really looking forward. You just mentioned U.S. That's a big market for uh, all of our products. Yeah. We are North, North America wide with all of our services, including the ones we talk about here. Government grants are specified to Canada. You know, student loans are to Canada. So Shanta, tell us, what's your miracle, my friends? Uh, what's happening Canada wide? <laughs> <laughs> um, my miracle, uh, I think uh, Kumar said it, it's family. So my miracle is just connecting with my family the last uh, yesterday and over this weekend. I'm really looking forward to it because I haven't had that uh, for a while. Uh, we've all been busy doing our own thing. And um, so for me, family, friends, uh, you know, and um, this auspicious time, because it's it's uh, not just Easter, but we just got through uh, what uh, my culture celebrates. And that's holy, that's Pagwa, and a lot of blessings. I feel a lot of blessings on the way. Um, and I've been receiving this past week um, in, in terms of business, um, in terms of uh, seeing clients getting their needs and being satisfied um, with, uh, you know, some assistance and some help. And just seeing the smiles on their faces um, really puts me in a good place. And I feel that that's the miracle because, you know, um, our miracle is to share, right? Share love, share um, our knowledge, our wisdom, share support to each other. And for me, that was my miracle this week. And not, just, not just this week, but I think every day that should be our miracle, uh, you know, supporting, loving and, and helping each other and uh, giving each other that helping hand and, um, you know, the right advice and down the right path. So they say shanta i heard this from a man that mario may know he, say, no, he says if you do the right thing long enough success is inevitable 
Now that you go and reconnecting with family, you have a lot of news to share as I share with my family. Anybody calls me now, this is taking over my personal life. What's going on with business? Well, it's all one. We do business to feed our families, to do good things with it. We, you know, prioritize our time to put in service of other people. They become our family. So we're expanding this family. And the thing is, I, I another thing is, is once you do something over and over again, it becomes second nature. It becomes a part of you. And I feel that's happening to me in this business is that, um, you know, and, and building our confidence, um, you know, we help others out there to do that. And when I realize that by doing that, it helps us as well. It helps us grow and develop personally, our personal growth. And um, I just, I love it. It's becoming second nature. Yeah. Anything you do repetitive, again, the key to success is to do simple things repetitively and often. Kumar, yeah. what do you think about that? I agree. I, I, I agree. I'm booking my next flight to go to Cancun. <laughs> <laughs> You're repeating the things we don't want to talk about right now. <laughs> but that's all good. That's the ultimate. Yes. <laughs> no, absolutely, man. No, it's, um, you know, it, it, it's, uh, it's strangely enough, I was going through um, some of these programs that are offered through the government. And I realized that you know, once you, you mastered it, and once you get the secret, it changes. It's not crazy. When the masses realize that you can plug into something, the government realize, oh, wait a minute, we should, we should tweak it a little bit just to throw them off. But it's, this is why this is so important that what we're doing is that we're constantly engaging and updating ourselves with those changes that are taking place. So we're always on the ball, and it's crucial you know the information that is there, how to resource, how to resource those in um, those that information, and bringing it to the people is vital and timely. You know, crucial, crucial. It's all about timing, man. You know, if you miss the beat, that's it. You're done. You know, you got to wait for the next cycle, and you may not have the time to wait. You got to get it done now. Now is the time. Put our efforts together and helping everyone. It's it's tremendous, tremendous. And the individual got to reciprocate it too, you know. They gotta follow, follow the uh, you know, as you say, the scripture, right? Follow it to a T. Because it's not that you're you're in halfway, it's all the way. You've got to go all the way. No turning back. So even when I was reading and on the changes and listening to the government, they're making their spiel. I mean, I love it. I love the support that they're offering. But, you know, it's for the selective few. And this is why we make so much of a difference to the lives and, you know, entrepreneurs and out there. We're making a tremendous difference to them. Right? Giving them the right information at the right time. You just got to plug in. You mentioned timing, uh, Kumar. Uh, personally, I'm really blessed to have just come across this thing through all of the efforts that I did. But I realized that if you dissect the the year to four corners, four perfect corners, we just had a new year in Christmas. We have a new year in March. That's my Kurdish new. We're going to integrate into this system to reset goals and then go to the summer. Next 90 days, we're focusing on the money. That is why the events with Mario is really important. We bring in some people to educate them about the business of money. Next mm -hmm. 90 days, we're going to switch again. There's going to be summer. It's going to be things happening. We're all going to be busy with family, with life, with things like this. So to focus next 90 days on money is really important. And Mario, tell us what can somebody do in 90 days with money? Is it possible to get a license? Have you had people get a financial license within, you know, what period of time can we do a turnaround expectation? Yeah, uh, some of our top agent, agents, and I mean like people that don't have a background in finance but are hungry, they want more for their life, they get it done in 20, 25 days. Uh, they, they make it a priority. Uh, you can even now, we just opened up a two weekend course. You can get it done on a Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, and you're done the course in two weeks and all your licensing fees are reimbursable by the company, uh, through the programs that we have. So, you know, it's the best investment you can make. It's a guarantee you pay, you're either going to get your license, uh, and be able to make money, or you're going to learn about financial education. There's no, uh, there's no negative. 
There's something that Kumar really said, and once you get into this financial industry, you get a license, you cannot go back on not doing it. No. It's very addictive because you have a knowledge that you feel like it's important for other people to learn because you went to this course and you have this mentorship and you have this program and you have these things mm -hmm. that can apply to you, your family, your neighbors, your community, your country, and everybody. Canada yep. and now USA. Yep. So I uh, will. Uh, I checked our YouTube channel uh, analytics. Over thirty percent of viewers are from USA. We're gonna have to have programs to get them engaged, to get them enrolled into the licensing wherever with the states we are available uh, pretty soon. But we can do this through this uh, seminars. We're gonna start on April sixth. This is really important. It's a Saturday, is it? Yep. So the Saturday coming up is going to be really massive. Uh, Mario's bringing his team. We're bringing everybody that we can. And I'm going to come with my pen and paper, ready to learn how to educate my 10-year-old son about money and set up his life so after 25, he doesn't have to think about money. If I don't do anything else, just manage what I'm doing right now. Yeah. Right? Bless. To give me a solid plan. Now, um, the government loans and student loans. How about that, Kumar? How are we going to pull this off on the government and student? We have a lot of students in the pipeline who are looking to get uh, started in some program. Do you have, as you know, this is an ongoing, an ongoing um, um, support that the government offers through the OSAP. Um, and there's many colleges there now that... Um, are promotingly third-party companies uh, trying to get students in there. And they realize that uh, you're busy at work. You need to do a second career. You know, it helps you maybe uh, use that new education to earn you better pay uh, or move on to something better in the future. Transition from your current job to something else that you're passionate about. But, um, you know, for doing these things, it's very important that... Um, you know, your financial structure is in place in the sense that you don't want to take on this education and not being committed to fulfill the course and completing it. If not, you're standing with a loan that you have to repay, and that hurts you in the end, right? So we try to help the student to understand really getting involved in the course, getting involved in, this, in, the, in the community college, study from home, study at your spare time. And um, and know that there is support, financial support there, but you need so, to look at it. Mm, go ahead. Application process. We have right now few students, some of them very close friends of mine. How do we get them into the system within the next two weeks? At least get the application started. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you just contact uh, contact the Morgan Galani group. Um, we got some numbers posted. Um, we've got the website. Uh, Shanti, what website we're we using there? Um, there we go. We've got, uh, oh boy. I got the card right here too. Oh boy. Hold mm -hmm. on for a minute. Hold here on we minute have minute. MG Ventures. Yeah, if you don't have the brochure, yeah. it's mgventures.ca. .ca. 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 Okay. Or they can the go to mgt support at rogers.com. Yeah. And then they could uh, input their information and we'll get back to them right away. And, and, hmm? Sorry. Yeah, and um, they should understand too that not just for a second career, but you know, after COVID, a lot of people were staying, were working remotely at home, or people lost jobs, or they left jobs. This is an opportunity for them to build back, uh, you know, their life um, and some stability in their life. Um, you know, uh, some people. Uh, get used to working from home they have young families they need to take care of their kids and all of that so this is a good opportunity for clients to realize that uh you know they can work they can uh study from home it's five days a week monday to friday it's four hours a day uh logging in between 9 a.m to 7 p.m uh they have time for their family um while they're studying um and it, it's a diploma program so they come out after one year with a diploma in hand and there's so many uh, i think there's over 300 courses that they can take we recommend about 60 to 
75 of those courses because they're top notch, they're popular courses, but there's so many more courses. There's five or six colleges now that are um, within the program. And um, people have to consider too with how things have changed with immigration. Now um, they're looking to put a lot of these international students into private college, uh, sorry, into public colleges. They're encouraging them into the public colleges. So the they realize that the private colleges are doing a fantastic job with these students and they're coming out and they're getting placements. They're doing their practicum with uh, companies and they're, you know, the job availability is there for them. So now the government is changing and wanting to put a lot more international students um, into the public colleges. Um, and uh, so that frees up uh, space too in the uh, sorry and that makes sense to do the online course because you know you you have more choices you have more flexibility there so hopefully that helps people to decide and to realize that this is a good opportunity for them the online uh, college program now one no, thing I wanted to mention is this second career choice Shanta because um, most people we know financially are struggling we know we have been in front of thousands of Canadians 90% are making month by month ends. This second career really gives them a leverage. It's the oh, yeah. second proactive. Like the first proactive, I called a good friend of mine, Robert Amudi in, in uh, New York, who was getting me funding with the camel farm and things like this. And then COVID happened. I said, Robert, what do I do now? He says, you're a creative guy. Be proactive. So I went to Mongolia, did all of these things in while COVID is happening to us. If people miss to be proactive during COVID, this is the second chance to be really proactive to life. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You know, get into the 90-day program where we transfer their really mindset, changing mindset. I think Mario can talk even better. Kumar can talk better on mindset. Tell me a little bit about importance of mindset, Kumar. Like we have so many opportunities coming, it's very distracting. How do we stay focused? Well, and this, and this is true. This is absolutely true because for me, it's several companies that I'm part ownership with. And I'm telling you, you know, someone talks about business. Sure, I know a lot about business. But man, if I am tugged and dissected every minute of my day, you know, I'm so fragmented, man. I'm messed up. Prioritize. Prioritize. How do we prioritize? Tell me about that. What's most important? When I when I got into um, you know when we were talking about business and helping others, I said, "Wait a minute, man! I love those questions. Those those um, surveys of question is Q and A. There were there were hard there were hardcore. I mean, the easy questions, but when you start answering it, you're like, "Wow, this is really hitting my core, right?" And I'm starting to realize that. I needed this more than anybody else. <clears throat> so one of those things was resetting back and taking some time away and go and visit my family, go visit my brother. He's always been asking me to come and see me and whatnot, right? And guess what? The guy's 55 years of age. He's retired. He's a multimillionaire, you know, down in Fort Myers, just chilling. And I said, what are you doing uh, today? <laughs> uh, I had the pleasure of talking to him very relaxedly. People who have money have peace. Now they're yeah. looking for adventure. They're looking for something bigger. Maybe they're looking for service to give back like you've been since your beginning of your career, your life. Yeah, Am I correct yeah. in assuming that five-minute conversation I had with your brother? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's, um, he's amazing, man. He's amazing. I mean, you know, we, uh, and he asked, I told him, I said, listen, but the thing is, like, I've got the three boys. I've got the grandkids. I've always connected with people. I'm, I'm always outdoor. I'm out. I'm hardly at home. He's spent most of his time at home, at home, and he's he's filled with that. For me, I'm out there. I'm on a mission. I said, man, you know, I've spent time with my parents. I've done a lot with them through the organization that they have formed, the, the, the charity of the organization, being in the community, helping others. I'm still in that track. You know, if I was to add up the funding that I've I've spent, I've invested with entrepreneurs, I've kept it for myself, sure, I would have secured my million too. But I have a different path. You know what I mean? And when I join up at MGG, this is aligning my purpose in life. You know, we can talk about business all day and we can comb through this, but 
how best do we help? You know, for me, what gives me that joy and fulfillment is how can we help others succeed, you know, so that their life is being is being touched in terms of, you know, getting that inner peace. And then when they reset, they realize sometimes the mission that they're currently on, it's not really the path is for them. It's just, just, just being put in there just to pass the time or to or to fulfill some void. But man, when you find purpose, oh my <laughs> God. It's it's oh. unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I thank you. I was you looking for, for that word. I was <laughs> looking for that word. You just put it right on top of the cake and the very end. It's purpose. See, purpose, you know, overrides money overrides status, overrides popularity, overrides ego, overrides wake up in the morning knowing what you want to leave this world behind a name that is good in many minds is the biggest joy of all. Through either through my, listen, I got this socks, incredible socks. Clients are waiting to get these socks in their hands. I'm hearing Barry arranging it. Now, if I was a businessman, I'd say, okay, well, that's not out of sight of my you know, hours of work. Why would I wake up at 6 a.m., go to Barry, to the army base to talk to all these people about this stuff? It's way more than money. It's a purpose. We bring health. We bring happiness. We bring harmonized relationship, organized relationships. And we help people part-time make money so they can save that money over time if they have nothing else going, 500 a month. 500 extra a month would change the lives of 90% of Canadians right now. Would you agree? 100%. Totally. 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 Now, Mario does more financial needs analysis. Mario, what's the what's the statistics out there? Tell me about some fresh, refresh my mind about the people you sit down, about their net worth. Let's say not counting the car they drive, which is on loan, not the house that's on mortgage. What's the net worth of average Canadians, Mario? I don't know if he's he's there. I'm here. I'm here. The net worth now, we're not even calculating. For now, we calculate debt. And the average <laughs> Canadian right now owes $73,000 of debt, uh, the average family. So for the average family in Canada, they make, for every dollar they make, they owe a dollar seventy one. So they make their dollar, they pay their bills, and they're still short 71 cents for every dollar. This is why they put money back on credit cards. One of the most common products at the banks are no longer checking and savings account, they're home equity loans. So people now are opening more home equity loans to pay their normal bills uh, and then slowly pay back their loans because they don't have enough cash flow or money to just get by. It's not even month to month they're living anymore. You know, it's week to almost next week. They're not even making it to their next paycheck. The average Canadian, if they were to lose their job today or get into an injury or get sick, they're three months from either being completely bankrupt and homeless uh, to maybe at the max six months. So most people don't have enough savings to survive three months. And the last stat, the scariest one, 78% of Canadians would not be able to handle an unexpected expense of $500. <laughs> so if something came up for $500 unexpectedly, 78% of Canadians could not afford it right now. Mary, you, you touched on something there, Mary. I'm, I'm telling you, I was at a couple of funerals, man. Dear friends, uh, actually, friends of friends, and I couldn't believe that they were collecting donations. They were hmm. collecting money so they could it's pay like for the funeral. Now. I'm just like, guys, what about the life insurance policy? Doesn't the person have a policy? If just, just to fulfill the last will of expense? No, they didn't take on an insurance policy. I'm like, man, man, it's just, it's a 2024. This is, you know, we're not back in the 70s and 80s pushing these things. This is, Everyone needs it. So I can't believe you can't even pay for your funeral expense. Yeah. That's how bad but, it is. Oh, let man. Me, let me uh, understand this this way. If you are $70 in debt the day you die, is there any savings? Now, Mary mentioned something really valuable here. I want to tell through a personal story. 
in 2013, I left Primerica and I, after that, I started the company. The very first year I got into a severe injury, brain injury. Mm. If I didn't have those, those, uh, you know, RSP accounts filled up, Mario, which I drew to inject myself with a shot that cost $80 per shot every single day, twice for two years. Do you think I would have been here right now? And that got me the backup to put me back on my feet, to get back my confidence, to, to not to claim bankruptcy, not to go the down way, because that would just kill my spirit. It, I, it wasn't a strategy. It was a, a response and reaction, right? Most people don't have the ability to respond to the emergencies of life. Simple, $500, 78 percent of people cannot handle that's not the canada i would dream about living in that's not the canada i came here for canada is the richest one of the richest countries in the world yeah unlimited resources incredible talent like this now kappa you know uh, taking taking advantage of that and that uh, potential that purpose is going to take some flexibility some learning some resources, the best resource, I think, is coming from the government. So, Shanta, come back and tell us about the resources that we can provide next 90 days to get some really serious people because they need to put insurance policies in place. They need to put their health first. But where do we get this money, Shanta? How many ways to get the money? Student loans? Through insurance, uh, through yeah, there's there's these uh, small business loans that will assist businesses in expanding their business, or even just for startups. Uh, there's also the government grants. There are um, so many of the uh, government grants that's available um, to individuals and to businesses who are looking to fund their projects or fund um, their their like I said their business expansion. Um, there are criteria that these um, uh, grants uh, uh, have and, or they have in place and so you must meet those criteria but that's what we're here at and any expert out there who uh, is dealing in uh, the government grants would be able to assist um, clients uh, you know when you think that you can um, apply for it on your own and yes you can but a lot of times you get uh, denied uh, those grants um, there are grants out there that uh, for students um, uh, as well. There is grants for technology, research, um, agriculture, um, for businesses, so many different grants for the Indigenous community, for women in business, for uh, women empowerment. Uh, so th they cover a lot, uh, for, even for the LGBTQ community, um, for religious um, uh, organizations, organizations that are helping within the community to build their community, there's government grants there as well. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunities through the government uh, to get funding and through pri the private sector as well. You know, there are companies out there, financial groups that um, are looking to help uh, with uh, small business loans. So um, there's a lot there. Something that uh, Mario touched on, uh, you know, with this economy and how people are um, struggling to really make ends meet. Um, I feel like one of the things that I've noticed in doing uh, the small business loans and doing the government grants, I realized when you start to ask uh, clients about their portfolio, their financial portfolio, they're in debt and they don't know it's money management and they're very poor at it and or never paid attention to it because it's something that wasn't taught to them at a young age and it wasn't taught to them even in, through high school or college and university right they come out of college and university two-year four-year program and they're in debt already when they come out um, and they don't know they they don't plan they don't make uh, financial plans they don't um you know, they don't seek out the guidance. They're just going from day to day in debt. Um, there's uh, strategies that can help them, again, through financial uh, advisors like Mario, um, uh, the MGG group or groups out there. They need to really understand money. They need to understand what debt means to them, what their credit score means to them, how important that is, um, and understanding the financial market, market, setting goals for themselves and financial goals and reaching those financial goals and developing a long-term final financial plan. It's so important. And a lot of times we don't think about it because we're moving from day to day 
and just making ends meet. But if you sit down and you, just like you would plan out a wedding or you plan out a party or you plan out, you know, your grocery list, you have to plan out a, a financially. You have to look at what's coming in, what's what your expenses are and how you're gonna save. Honestly, this uh, debt thing that we all talk about, it's we create it. We create it because we ignore it. We don't want to deal with it. So we we put the bills away and we shove everything under the carpet. We don't want to deal with it because we're afraid to deal with it. But I tell you, it's one of the things that will give you that peace of mind is doing these things, structuring yourself financially um, in order, you know, and planning the same way you would make your plan for your, your business, you know, or for the grants. You have to do it for your it within your life. You have to do the financial planning, get out of debt. It's an amazing thing when you get out of debt. It's so peaceful. Tanta, one more thing. You know, I come from a family of seven sisters. I have extended women array in my life. Uh, what's the importance of getting, if I was seeing my sister here suffer, suffer like this uh, with bills and with stress, why is it important? If she was here, I would have dragged her into this business. It they're not, so, they're in Europe. But women's so, role in this this movement is really important. Women need to. We need to financially educate women more. Um, I, I just finished a women in leadership uh, program, and I realized even women in leadership don't they don't plan for their financial life, and they're struggling as well, um, and they don't realize. It gives them independence. The number one thing I would say to a woman um, to get into the financial business and to understand the financial business um, and uh, is the independence. It gives you the freedom. It gives you the confidence. It gives you um, knowing that you can handle everything on your own. And uh, financial wealth for women, I I believe in it so much, um, again, because of the independence and it makes you stronger um, and it helps you to understand, you know, investing um, is so nice. It's easy once you get the right investment and you're guided towards the right investment, uh, that's money in your pocket. You're building your wealth. You know, we talk about, Mario talks about the um, child wealth building. That's where it has to start. And for women, we have to get into the financial sector. We have to explore it because it helps us in building our life, not depending on someone else to build that life for us, but building it ourselves. And that that empowers us. It, you know, it gives us that um, the, the trust and belief in ourselves, and not having to give that power away to somebody else. Confidence it, just brings it, me to the word confidence, Shanta. Yes, and and I I love it. Um, I look. I'm seeking out the young ladies that are in university and colleges because when they come out of the their two year or four year program, it's debt. So before they get to that point, mm -hmm. I want to be able to help them, guide them, so that they understand the, um how to. Uh, you know, how to get out of that before they even finish the program. They're working part time because they have to make ends meet. Well, what are they doing with their money? Are they partying it? Are they spending it in the stores, giving it away to other people rather than themselves? Even if it's 10, 15, $50 that they're saving, it's empowering them. So I want to be able to reach out to those young ladies and say, hey, you have to, this is something that's so important in your life is your financial planning. Well, wow, thank you so much for this for ladies. Santa, my whole uh, mission in life, if you were, is to improve people's self-image. I just had last night, I had a I had a something happen to somebody very dear close to me. No, it wasn't my daughter, but she was feeling that she didn't have enough self-confidence to to be in this relationship, to stand up for herself, to say, listen, you're a man, I'm a woman. If I didn't do something wrong, and I know I didn't, it's not my fault. It's your own perception of what I do. So this 90-day program to build, bring them in to change their self-image. I have seen improvement in myself in the last 90 days because of these conversations. With them. I have seen it with my relationship, with my business, everything. When people talk great ideas, you learn from them. We learn from them. 
and we try to help improve this self image over 90 days. And if not another 90 days, if not another within one year, anybody joining this conversation could have a totally different life. Would you agree? Yes, I agree. Um, the thing uh, that this program, uh, I feel, would do for them is, yes, it would build their confidence, but it would also show them, show them that uh, there are paths to take. And when you have a goal, uh, you have to have that vision and that vision board, or you have to journal it, you have to write it down, you have to see it. Because when you see it, um, when you, you know, you put it out there, um, you're building that confidence and you're doing task in order to build the confidence and you're talking to people you have to surround yourself with the right people it's so important because those people are going to uplift you they're going to give you uh, the right advice they're going to share their experience with you and make you realize you're not the only person that's going through these things there is you know there's support there there's good strong support but again it has to be the right people surround yourself with the right people and you're going to go places um, this thing we talk about confidence, it is important. Um, and it starts within us. You know, sometimes we think, oh, people out there or the external is going to give us that confidence. No, everything we need is within ourselves. We have to seek it. We have the strength within us. And we have, you know, we, we should be trusting ourselves. We should be um, loving ourselves. Uh, and, and not depend on, on people to define us or tell us who we are. No, we know who we are. We get lost sometimes in this world with the struggles and the challenges, but we are, we, we are our own, um, we're our own advisors, really. If we think about, you know, we have those, those talks in our head sometimes and we'll say, oh, well, you know, this person said this or that person said that about me or they don't believe in me. Well, no. They, it doesn't matter what they say. It matters what you say and how you feel and how much you love yourself. The same way we love other people out there and we care about them and we respect them, we have to give ourselves that. And that's something I realized for myself. Um, I, I allowed people to define me at one time. And then I realized, no, you don't get to say who I am. I get to say who I am because I know who I am, genuinely who I am. And this is what we need to teach um, to teach clients about themselves. And that's how they build their confidence because they begin to love themselves, who they are. Thank you so much. Everybody, every um, religious book says, know thyself. That means improve your self-image. Believe that you're a miracle worker. You have been made in the image of God. So our next session is going to be at Mario's uh, office on Saturday. Oh, uh, yes. I want, yeah, go ahead, Kumar. No, 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 I'm, I'm happy. I mean, I'm pumped up for that meeting, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to see if we can get the uh, address on record here. So people have lack of attention. People have a short attention span. That is why we need reminders more when you need instructions. This whole financial world is just to be reminded every once in a while. Right? Very true. Very true. Very yeah. true. So, we Mary, need... what's next? What's the address? It says here, what's next? I'm just reading my brochure, man. Everything is duplicable here. <laughs> okay, Schedule so for the, for the event... Schedule uh, a meeting, Mario. Schedule yep. the meeting right here. Yep, so for the event, it's at uh, 4300 Steeles Avenue West in Vaughan. Uh, it's Unit 31 at the corner of Steeles and Pine Valley. Okay. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. Uh, that's where my um, my office is. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some uh, some snacks, some drinks. We're going to have some great individuals there. And guys, there's no cost to anything. So come I'm get your time. family educated. Uh, I think we, we settled on 12 o'clock and we're going to be there till three. The mm -hmm. presentation isn't going to be long, but we're going to stick around after to answer questions, get to know you. Uh, guys, there's no fee to this. So come get some free advice. Uh, free analysis, get your financial house in order, and uh, you're going to be glad you came. Yeah. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks, Mario. My pleasure, guys. Thank you. Okay, so let me wrap it up. This is what's next, guys. And who can attend those seeking government grants and funding? Again, I'm reading. This is duplicable. Everything we do is duplicable. Industry-specific mentorship, which I'll present, Kumar will present, Financial strategies and planning, which is Mario's main juice. That's really what we're going to focus on. 
and startup application for visas, immigrants, people like that. We have Shanta you can talk to. Commission and hourly incomes. Guys, if somebody's looking for a job, we have jobs right now through our soldier gear, through our camel care. We can employ you until we teach you that there's bigger opportunities available. 100% money back guarantee. If you have an idea, you like to pitch it to investors, you can come and do that. If you need to get funding, grants, launch and scale your own business, we're here to support you. Kumar? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, indeed. Indeed. It's a powerhouse. It's a powerhouse where you can, you know, when you when you look at individual getting money and the problem is they're in a deficit because of their skill set of not, not knowing how to handle money, guess what? We'll take it over. We'll show you a few strategies and teach you how to grow that money, make it turning over, you know, and invest it wisely. Lots of opportunities. I can't wait to meet up with you guys in person. And um, and that's, uh, let's, let's rock this. This is amazing. Amazing opportunity. Thank you so much. Anybody else adding any uh, yeah. at the bottom of this? Been fantastic. We're just getting yeah. better. I, I would actually like to just add that um, it's not just for, for Canadians or permanent residents that are here. Um, I started a, um, a resettlement program and I've also started a newcomers program. Uh, so I would love to see some of those clients come out um, on April 6th, uh, just to, to understand um, how things work here with the financial system in Canada and how to guide them into uh, what they need in order to protect their families. Like for instance, the life insurance, auto insurance, mortgages, mortgage insurance. These are all things that they're going to have to understand and know and uh, also start their financial planning in Canada to reach their goals, their three-year or five-year goals. It's something we're doing within the um, resettlement program and the um, the newcomers newcomers program and getting uh, having them understand the system in Canada, how it works, um, and uh, just to get around, you know, in Toronto or Ontario. Um, we're helping them with that. So I would love to invite some of those clients as well on April 6th. And if you guys know anyone, certainly bring them out because, uh, you know, this is great networking for them and it's great uh, information for them to help them start their life here in Canada. Thank you so much. So imagine this, going through a course of learning from this group of people before you even put a step on this cold country, beautiful country, to know more than 90% of people out there who are in Canada who don't know this. So for immigrants, for those who are applying to come to Canada, it's a golden opportunity. Yeah, I had a seminar last week uh, with some newcomers, a group of newcomers, and it was amazing. It was amazing. It was such an eye opener for me, not just for them, but for me um, to see where they where they were, where they, you know, they were living and uh, their dreams and hopes and they and the opportunities they feel we have here in Canada. So um, working with them, talking to them, uh, I realized there's so much uh, to help and to offer them um, and to be a part of their dream. Like, it's just an amazing feeling. So uh, I know when you guys meet them, you'll be amazed by their stories. That's where you found your purpose, my friend. You find joy in helping other people seeing smiles on their faces. So within the next time, six days, my whole of promotions, phones, online, anything I do will be to bring people on there. We're going to have a packed house. I guarantee you that. It's going to be more people standing than ever we had any session because I'm making a commitment to bring everybody out that I personally know. And you guys do the same. Right. Deal? Awesome. 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 Thanks, Ari. Beautiful. All right, guys, enjoy your beautiful Saturday. We're ready to go and take on this Army of Canada. Me and Kumar are <laughs> going to the Army base for a bit. <laughs> Rumble in the jungle. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, enjoy, guys. See you soon. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day, Mario. Chanta, Kumar. Thank Stay you. Blessed. You guys Stay too. Bye-bye.